hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello. We have hello. another official Behemoth stream with Alien Hominid Invasion. A game by the Behemoth that isn't ready yet. No. But we have learned a lot of things because we had a beta. Yes. You gave us the gift this season of beta. Yeah. We got a lot of people playing and we learned a lot. So we're going to go over some of those things we learned today and some changes that we made. Ian is going to be driving our alien around. Wish me luck! You can roll through beams that might kill you because lots of people get killed by the beam. There it is. That's the beam that kills everyone. So you can... Look at that. Ian's showing off. He's just rolling right through it. Oh, wow! I, I need these. Okay, thank you. And you also have a mutation. You start as the invader mutation because you're an invader. That's fitting. And the invader gets to throw grenades. So at the bottom of our brand new HUD that follows the player, you can see oh, that now the mutation is ready. You get mutation choose by killing things. And then you see the little blue dots. Those are the more mutation juice that you can have. That's one of the things. Do you go for the bonus? As the enemies get harder and harder, because the longer you're in the level, the more cr crazy things get? Or do you play it safe? It's up to you as an invader. As long as you've done your objectives, you get to pick. One thing we did is give the alien momentum. So if you are running in one direction, and you keep holding in that direction, we assume that you would like to go faster, and your alien does go a little bit faster. But really, the key here is diving and riding on people's shoulders and digging. All the other abilities make you move faster than the run. It's called the inchworm. Okay. What will it be? It's already here! Oh no! <laughs> and there's another new thing. That child is trying to sell you a munition. That, that's something that I love this. <laughs> Can we just do this for the next uh, 45 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> That's something I need to change. But it's still kind of fun. All right. So the way the inchworm works is it will bounce off of the sides and the floor and the top of the screen. Kind of like your old Windows screensavers. And it causes trouble. Oh, look. There's two more. Oh. This is... <laughs> oh well, that's interesting because it's supposed to only cap it two. But Ian has gotten lucky and found four. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ah, Bombard oh, and, and inchworms. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Alien <laughs> Hominid, everyone. If you haven't known, Alien Hominid back in the day, the original one, was quite difficult. You will find ah, that ah, the new one can be difficult at times. But Ian has done it. He's run the gamut. The game's difficulty kind of goes up as you progress through the city, but it also goes up based on how much time you're spending in a level. And I have raised the difficulty cap of that because some people in the beta have decided that they're going to More live heights. in a level for 10 plus hours. So it now gets much harder on the high end. So work. as you level up, you gain security clearance to new weapons. Wow. So you can you can get different weapons that will appear in your loot as you level up. How do you level up? By, by invading. Everything you do in invasion will get you somewhere on um, a better security clearance with the mothership. You have to show the mothership that you are capable of wielding the crazy stuff. Well... Some of the objectives have been oh. adjusted. Oh, here's a good one. We have the digesters coming out to Come play. Come on, kids. Get them. As you open more digester cages, more digesters will come out and start jumping out on everybody. Digesters <laughs> are from... <laughs> Did you just he, he was on the bot. That's yeah. Great. He can even jump on your shoulders. Get the other I ones. Am. Have here. Some of the hazards have been altered, like this. Put the if anyone's known the poison gas canisters, those are a little different. We have a new enemy that's a swarm, but also a kind of a hazard that's coming up. 
Okay, you okay. You can play this game up to four <laughs> players, by the way. You can play four players online or offline. So if things get real crazy, you can always have another invader jump in. Now, Ian has a shotgun. And, you know, that should, that should get the job done. Yes. I have to reload. It will take their skin. It will take their skin. There's like the skin. You've taken it. Hooray. We didn't have gore at first, but everyone kept telling me how they needed skinless. Uh, they needed this. So now there it is. You can also turn it off if it's disgusting you. There is a gore option. See, the compass is more towards the center now, so now there's no missing it. It's right there. I might make it a little less flashy now that it's right there, actually. But you'll never miss it. That's right. The that's, general the, is, that's another way to do it, is you, the general is you is die pleased. and... Yeah. If they get you with their, with their um, test run of their boss, they'll be happy about it. And they'll take it back to HQ knowing that they did a great job. So my goal was just to make it to wave two, just just so everything else <laughs> is uh, extra. Everything's yeah, cherry on top. Well, it is a bonus. How much bonus will you make? The highest round that people can get to is five, and I don't think I've seen anyone get to five. But today, here on the stream. <laughs> I will Ian go for will break five the record. as I r race for my life from the inchworms. Speed Demon was the most popular mutation, followed by Vampire, the broken thing, and the weapon specialist. That's what people chose the most. Lifesteal was the most chosen boost, which I've actually... I can't remember if I fully removed it or just kind of brought it way down and put the lifesteal... I think I I think I got rid of it, uh, at least for boosts. But I think it can be still tied to a weapon. We've been trying to push things to kind of bring more cooperation. Because this is, a, in the end of the day, this is a cooperative game, but you can play it alone. We've tuned it a lot for people who play alone. In fact, we've put it probably more people who play alone making sure that's perfect and then from there when you add your buddies in it's kind of natural flow it sort of just works dan why can't i get this heart oh because you're maxed on hearts that's something new an alien hominid invasion you can save that for later as long as you stay on the level wow i i maxed on hearts i'm doing something right that's right ian's full lives uh, one of the big things we learned going through beta is that people enjoy the game. That was one of the things I hadn't <laughs> mentioned yet. People are pretty happy uh, with what, what they've played, so that's great news because that means that uh, we don't have as much work to do on the game as if you guys reported not having fun. I just got that heart. Here, big crab, big crab, big crab, big crab. Here, big crab. <laughs> There oh, there they are. Oh. You can ride on them. Quick, oh. Ian. Hitch a ride on the big crab. I will get right on that. <laughs> At my earliest. There's just. There we go. There you go. Yeah! This is the life. Oh. Oh, there we go. Another one. So big crabs will jump around. They'll try to jump in front of you and then spray this stuff up into the air. It's kind of a. In a way, it's kind of a unique. Thing because you can stay low and try to pass them and roll right through them or you have to go up and around oh you can also try to hitch a ride on the big crab as we did there but it's it's actually kind of hard to hitch right on the big crab because he's firing yeah they're like little movable them. fountains we'll learn more about the alien and where they come from and all these other things because there is a story in this game, and it continues the story from the previous. In some ways, some people say, well, that's a sequel, and you're almost right, but no. Kind of. You can argue that with yourselves. I'll just light the match and leave the room. <laughs> Uh-oh! Ah, she's, she's mad. 
She's reached one of her final forms here. Okay. That's fine. It's just like hopscotch, or not hopscotch, it's like jump rope. Bye bye. The farther away you get, the harder it is to dodge, but not for Ian. Not for Ian. He's <laughs> got her under half health. Ah. This can't How about be. This? Oh, you used your spawn attack. Super secret <laughs> spawn attack. You can spawn on the boss to hurt them. I want to thank everybody for playing beta, the people who played solo, the people who played multiplayer, and all the feedback that people have given. We are much closer to our target now because of all the information we got. So I want to thank everybody who came by to play. All right, everybody. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.